Here we are guys on our uh, road trip to Anglesey and with the Welsh historian <laughs> Vertigo Rod or Moon Rod whatever you want to call him these days Yay! Here we go Rodri boy! <laughs> Places like South Stack Lighthouse. I don't know if you've seen it, but it looks incredible. Hopefully, you get out with a nice sunset in the background. And uh, another place I want to visit is there, the, the church in the sea. Were you looking forward to seeing Rod? Yeah, burial chambers. Yeah, what, what are they? Burial chambers. Well, oh, then a couple of stones sticking out the ground. A bit more than that, but yeah, pretty much. Okay, I hope you really enjoy them, Rod. first location over in Anglesey it's uh, bring Kelly D uh, Rodri's brought us here Rod's been here before tell us a little bit uh, about the place Rod bring Kelly D is a neolithic burial tomb been here quite a few times but never in the night so I'm just hoping some of the clouds will pass and we can get some stars for the shot but uh, we'll so just have to wait and see. What kind of uh, age does this date back to, do you know? Uh, well, f f to the Neolithic age, this is 2000 BC, 3000. So, oh, same, same as Stone Angel, is it? Just totally different. Uh, do you want to go inside? Wow, you can actually go in this one, can you? Yeah. Well, but you can't get through the other side. You can't. Yeah. Come on, let's go in there. Look. Right. Do you want to go first? You no, got the camera. You lead the way. Oof. I got a fit in here, guys. Right ball on the back. Oh, my back. Oh. Look at that. God, that torch is bright. Oh. They put this big concrete block to support the capstone because it was obviously uh, cracking. Yeah. So what's the estimated weight on this capstone, Rod, do you know? Oh god, I wouldn't like to say now. A lot of them, what are they? A lot of them are 30 tons, something like that? I think the biggest one in Britain is Tinkinswood, down in South Wales. Uh, the Vale of Lamorgan. Yeah, well, that, that's the one we went to, is it? Yeah. And I think that was 30 tons, wasn't it? Film some of the markings on this one. Alright, don't just get in here because my tripod's stuck. So we're looking at here, Rod. Oh. So that one obviously been propping that up in the centre, would it? Here's a go. No, I think it would just be for that. Yeah, it wouldn't have been propping up it, then the capstone does that. For, or the 
the uprights. People tell, tell people who uh, who've never come across these or know nothing about them. What would these have been used for years ago? Then? Obviously, there was a community living around here, that, and this is where the, they would leave their loved ones. This it was a lot of different ways. They'd either burn the corpses, or there'd be a pit nearby with the, the corpses. Obviously, over time, yeah. Turned their bones and they place them in there. To the entire community. Well, all right, guys, so there you are. There's a little bit of info on the place, and uh, we're going to go outside now and um, hopefully the stars will come back out and we're going to shoot some Milky Way. Okay, guys, well, unfortunately, the uh, Milky Way's not out. Well, it is out, but obviously, cloud cover. So we're just going to take a few shots and uh, use the settings to go for them on the 16-35mm lens and I'm shooting at f2.8 and I'm going to go for ISO 800 and I'll start off with about 6 seconds and work my way up and uh, I'll be uh, highlighting the place with, uh, with the torch. This is day two. We're at the uh, Tulmau in Anglesey, and that's the famous place with the, uh, the cross and the lighthouse there. Um, been a bit unlucky with the weather. It's nice walking over here, but it's just starting. It's got this fine mist which is driving all over the camera lens into the camera. A little look around. weather so I'm just sheltering there don't be in the cross at the moment I'm hoping it's going to pass over if not we're probably going to come back for, for sunset this is a, you know it's a better location anyway for sunset because obviously the sunset's behind us we're hoping to come over here for sunrise and you know have nice view of the lighthouse unfortunately that was the beat that's one of the things with photography just I don't know what you're going to get so, I'm going to have a little look around anyway, and then uh, maybe put up a photo or two. I have a little luck for you now, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, there they are. They're just popping their heads up. There's a few seals having a little look, look at Rodri. And there's a few there on the rocks. See, uh, beautiful little island.
So day three, we're at the, I don't know, what's it called, the Church at the Sea. Travelled up last night from uh, the location with the, the cross and the lighthouse in the background. Bit of a washout yesterday morning, but yesterday evening was lovely. Uh, I didn't do any vlogging or any much video because there was just so many people around. But uh, we've come here this morning. Uh, Time the tidal a bit wrong and as, as, as I've been waiting for the tide to come in a bit more to get some more down movement in the shot obviously the, the sun is going a bit higher so we got that going against us now but uh, just going to take a couple of shots here you know I've got a, uh, a 10 stopper on and uh, I shoot an F16 for 25 seconds just so I can try and get a little bit of movement there and uh, hopefully that lovely reflection that you can see. So yeah, today we might be moving up to Hollier to the South Stack. So keep on watching and uh, follow the tour. We got obviously Sunday and Monday left. They turn out nice there. I'll put the photo up here now. So as I said, we uh, slightly timed the tide last night. So what I've had to do is uh, actually walk out into the water, try and find a nice composition and work with that. So, you know, if things ain't going to plan, if things ain't how they should have been timed a bit more, i will try and use what's around you. And if you see here, this is going to be the shot. I got the reflection of the church just in between the rocks there. So uh, hopefully it looks alright. And uh, I'll post the photo now. Day three, um, we're heading to location number four, which is South Stack out, out, out in Oliad. Um, we was planning on staying down that uh, the church and the sea a bit longer, but we decided to come up earlier. It's probably about three hours from sunset, so we just pulled up in a nice little cove and uh, me and Rod just doing a little bit of coast steering and. Uh, Jumping into the rock pools, uh, I'll post the video by you now. How is it, Rod? How is it? How was it? How was it going, Rod? It's going really good. Tiring. And it's hard work, isn't it? Long days. Highlights of the trip so far, Rod? All the burial chambers, I think. Same as I. You've uh, <laughs> two cracking chambers, isn't it? Three now. Three, yeah. And uh, just looking out over there, Rod. What, what is it we can see in the background there? 
Let me just turn this wrong for everyone to see. Going in there, slow down here. There you are. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but. Can't do reverse on here for some reason. So, you have a little update on our little day four trip. Um, you know, it's not just about doing this YouTube channel, it's about uh, recording the memories that uh, we make in. First look back on in the future. So, that's if we make the swim back. Yeah. <laughs> the swim back. Look at the coast here and all the rocks. Beautiful. Swim back over there. Awesome. It's another best one, my God. So yeah, we can head, head back now and then get up to South Stack for for sunset. It's looking to be potentially beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, Fingers crossed. So the sun is just about set and uh, we're still here out the uh, South Stack on uh, Holyhead Island. Still taking a few shots. Uh, I'm on ISO 50, F11 and I'm thinking I'm down to about 30 seconds at the moment. So we'll take that. It's a little bit of history of uh, uh, South Stack. South Stack, yeah, it's like those souls over there. Yeah. Did you photograph me last night? Yeah, photograph the shit in there. <laughs> <laughs> Day four, evening four, location four or five, I don't know. And uh, we're at uh, Penman Point on Anglesey Island. I'm sure you've all seen it before. Just gonna uh, show you what I got here and then uh, talk to you about my settings. So, sun just all set in not the greatest sunsets but still getting some nice colour and uh, I'm shooting an ISO 50 F16 and uh, two, I'm getting two and a half seconds with her and I got a 10 ND on there well it's not quite a 10 ND it's probably a but a four is advertises it goes up to ten, but it's not for the four. So yeah, Penman Point. If you haven't seen it before, go up to Anglesey and check it out. And uh, I'll post up a couple of photos here.
Ah, stunning. Thank you.